What's going on, ballers? Thanks so much for tuning in again, and welcome back to another Big J Basketball box break video. There is no box to be broken today. This is going to be a PSA submission preview video. So as you can see, we got a big stack of cards that are going to be going to PSA pretty soon. Actually, they might be on their way by the time this video goes live. There's actually going to be some cards that we're not sending to PSA. Uh, I kind of want to go through my thought process of what we're sending and what we're not sending and the reasons why uh, we're sending certain cards and not others. Um, so if you haven't been paying attention, PSA has opened up uh, temporarily an $18 uh, per card gr uh, grading level. Um, it's going to be about, they're saying 150 day turnaround. So I'm gonna say probably about six months uh, if that 150 days is just including uh, business days and not calendar days, six months, maybe six to seven months. So we'll be sending in some cards that I'm not uh, you know, dying to get back immediately. Um, so let's go uh, take a look uh, through these. Uh, if, you, if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Click that bell for notifications. So you get notified whenever we post new stuff. Uh, we're getting closer and closer to 5,000 subscribers. I think we're just a little over 500 away at this point. So uh, stay tuned and keep subscribing if you haven't yet. And uh, we'll be doing a 5,000 subscriber giveaway as soon as we cross that, uh, cross that barrier. In the background, you'll see some Kobe stuff from our previous submission, PSA 9 Finest Rookie, PSA 8 Gold Finest Rookie. Um, so let's go ahead and start looking through these. Um, so the first few cards I'm going to show are ones that were in my grading, you know, potential grading stack that I'm still not going to send uh, at this point. And we'll, we'll talk about why. So the first couple, some David Robinson uh, rookies from Hoops 89. These look pretty, both look pretty good to me. Um, however, <clears throat> this is not the true rookie card. This is a Series 2 rookie. PSA 10s of these are only selling for like 35 to 40 bucks. PSA 9s are like 10 to 15 dollars. So even at 18 dollars, I don't think it's worth the risk. Um, I'm only sending stuff that, you know, if I think it'll get a 10, that means there's always a chance it still could get a 9. So if I'm going to get a 9, uh, you know, have bad luck at a 9 on these, lose money, definitely not something I'm going to be sending in uh, at this level. Same thing with this Magic Johnson. Again, a PSA 9 will probably barely cover grading costs. So not really worth it. PSA 10s aren't a ton of money. Some more 90s Skybox cards, Barkley, Bird, Rodman. Rodman, again, all semi-decent cards, you know, maybe 40 to 40 to 50, 40 to 50 bucks in a PSA 10 at most. But again, PSA 9s are not that much anymore. So 18 bucks, not worth it. Uh, <laughs> this Jammin with Will Smith card. Um, I still don't think there's a lot of these graded out there, so I thought maybe I'd still send it in, but eh, I'll, I'll wait and see if maybe at some point in the future there's going to be um, a, a cheaper grading option. This one looked pretty good to me. But I don't think it was going to get a 10. I, this is probably would get a 9, so definitely not worth the 18 bucks for this. And here's another Barkley uh, from 92, 93 Fleer. This one looked perfect. I mean, I looked this over a bunch of times. Centering's great, found no issues, but again, not really worth the risk at $18. And actually, I'm going through, still going through a group submitter, so it's probably going to cost me a couple bucks more per card, but still, you know, in the $20 range. Um, uh, but so, yeah, probably not worth it on this Barkley. So those I'm going to hold, you know, maybe at some point they'll be $10 grading again. If there is, maybe I'll send them in at that point. But for now, we're going to hold off. Um, so let's go through our pre-1996 cards first. I think they're going to require at least the group submit I'm using. Uh, PC Sports Cards is requiring these to be broken up between anything before 1996 and anything 1996 and later. Um, so anything pre-96, we got mostly Jordans. So we got two of the Fleer base from 1991. Look both of these over pretty closely. Again, I think they have a great shot at a 10. Maybe get a 9. If they get a 9, I'll probably make my money back. But a 10 would be a big win on those two MJs. Um, we also have the Fleer All-Star card, also from 1991. Probably gonna get a nine on this. You can see the centering's a little bit off. There's two stars here and a little bit of another star, and this star's kinda cut off, so it's a little bit off center. Um, probably not technically, maybe close to uh, you know hitting the, the requirements needed for a PSA 10, but most likely this will probably get a nine. So a nine at 18 bucks, I think, is, is probably worth it. These are tricky, actually all three of these hoops cards. These looked really, really, really good to me. Centering was great, corners looked awesome, nothing wrong with the surface, front or back. But all these, they there's a little bit of kind of white on the left edge here. I don't know how well you can see that in the video, but you can probably see a little bit of white on the left edge. I don't know if that's something that was 
that they kind of look past on all these cards. Uh, the same Vincent with Jordan wearing his number, number 12 jersey. I have one of these at PSA right now, hopefully coming back soon. I actually think I have a couple of these too that should be coming back. I think they're in QA2 stage, so those should be coming back soon. Um, so it might be smart actually to wait <laughs> until I see what kind of grades I get on those to kind of you know guess what I might get on these. Uh, but again, PSA 9s, I don't really think I'll lose money maybe a dollar or two or something like that, depending if PSA 9s drop a lot by the time these come back. Um, but hopefully still make my money back if those comes, come back as 9s. If they come back as a 10, even better. This card, I think, has an awesome shot at a 10. There's not a lot of these out there. I don't think many people were grading this card. The Chicago Bulls team set obviously has Jordan, uh, Pippen, everyone, Phil Jackson on the back. Uh, centering was perfect on this one, no issues, uh, surface, corners, edges all looked good to me. So if this gets a 10, could be a really big win at $18 grading. Um, again, if it's a 9, probably at least should make the money back. Same thing with all of these three. I think PSA 9s are probably still more than 20 bucks at this point. They will most likely stay that way, but you never know what happens in the future. But we get a 10, even if there's more of these graded coming back, if prices of 10s go down, It'll still be worth it 18 bucks if we can get 10s on these. So we got three, 90, 91 Skybox MJs. We got another MJ from 91, 92 Upper Deck All-Star card. Again, didn't see an issue with, with this. Thought it had a good shot at a 10. We have our Upper Deck Trade Card. Pulled this out of a box of, uh, of 92, 93 Upper Deck Series 1, I believe this came out of. Yeah, Series 2, I think, had the actual Shaq card, Series 1, and the Trade card. Um, these actually sell really well in, in high grades. Uh, PSA 10, probably not going to happen. There's a little bit, it's kind of hard to see, a little bit of white there. Uh, I think on the back, there might have been a little bit of white, like on the edge. Again, kind of hard to see, but sort of a little bit of white there, tiny bit of white on the bottom left corner. So probably a nine, but even a PSA nine should sell pretty well uh, for these. But uh, if we got an eight, it might be kind of uh, tricky to make money back on that one. I'm not sure how, how much PSA eight sell, uh, sell for, but nines and tens both sell really well. Tens would sell for a ton. There's hardly any of those, uh, but a nine would still sell really well. I think we got a good shot at a nine on this one. This penny pulled us out of a box again on the channel. 93, 94 Stadium Club, new wave rookie card, and this is the first day issue only one first day issue parallel per box so we got really lucky to hit this one out of that box definitely not going to get a 10. Uh, again there's some white on the edges here there's some white there i think of some more white there this bottom corner a little bit of white the back was really clean surface uh and corners looked really good just a little bit of white around the edges pretty common with this card so maybe an eight on this one but again not many of these graded and, and penny stuff sells really well especially these first day issue parallel so PSA 8 would be worth it at that price. Got some Kobe stuff. Um, we'll go through these kind of all as a group. Class of 96, Flare Showcase. I don't really know how to <laughs> look at these for grading. Th these, the front and back of this card are both super, super, super glossy. And you can kind of see little, you, there's no way you can see it on video, but if you're looking at it, um, you know, like with a magnifying glass, you can see them a little bit, just some sort of like little hairline um, I don't know if they're scratches or if it's just part of the card, um, but we'll see what happens. Again, it, it looks pretty good to the naked eye, but under some magnification, they might find some some small issues. So I wouldn't be surprised if this maybe came back at an eight if they found some stuff that I didn't, but a nine would be awesome if we can get a nine on that one. So class 96, flare showcase insert for Kobe. Uh, some more Kobe stuff. We have uh, Bowman's best picks. This one, again, another one I'm, I'm kind of nervous about sending in, but I almost just want to send it just to see how what grade it comes back. If you look here, again, it's hard to tell on video, but the card is kind of flat and straight all along here. And then this corner, it's, the cut is sort of at an angle. And I'm, I, I think PSA probably will uh, ding me for that. I'm not sure how bad of a ding I'll get if they'll grade it as like miscut or if they'll just give a much lower grade because it's not completely straight along the bottom. Um, but the rest of the card looked clean. I uh, didn't see any other issues. Um, so if this gets a low grade, like a six or a seven, it's probably because of that right there. So we'll see what happens when this comes back. But I just wanted to get it graded to see what happens. If we get some bad grades on some of these Kobe's, uh, I might try and you know upgrade to some already graded copies because I'm not going to be able to. It's going to be tough to buy these raw <laughs> in, in good shape and get them graded. Uh, another Bowman's Best rookie. 
I don't see any reason why this wouldn't get at least a nine. Um, again, I didn't see any issues, edges, corners, surface, all looked really good. Not sure how the centering works on these. Um, don't know how big this board is supposed to be really. Um, but if it got a 10, that would be incredible, but probably a nine on this one, maybe an eight if there's something I'm missing. Uh, Kobe base tops rookie. I know a million of these uh, have been graded, but had this one raw for a long time, figured at 18 bucks. This was a good good time to grade it now. Front centering's pretty good. Little skinny on the left, little fat on the right, but edges and corners looked good to me. Uh, this front bottom edge had, again, you, you can't see it on the video, but when you look under uh, some magnification, it's not completely 100% uh, perfect at the bottom. A little bit of, I don't know what to call it. It's not chipping, um, but we'll see what happens. The back centering though, way off. <laughs> so super skinny here, super fat over here. So no chance at a 10. Maybe if I'm really lucky a nine, but I'm saying probably an eight. Uh, we'll, we're gonna get back on that one. This one, Youth Quake insert. This looked super clean to me. Very gl glossy front, didn't see any issues. Edges, corners, uh, all looked perfect. Um, so overall, card looked really great. Centering on the front, again, a little thick on the left and a little skinny on the right. Might still be, be within PSA to PSA's tolerance for a 10, but most likely maybe a nine on this, or if I miss something, maybe a little bit lower. But I'm gonna guess maybe a nine. This one I'm really excited about. These refractors in a PSA 10 from 96, 97 Chrome have been skyrocketing lately. Um, the last one, I don't know, I can't remember if I saw a PSA 10 of this cell or not. I can't remember if it was, I think I maybe saw a 10 and a nine. The 10 I think went for hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Even a PSA nine uh, sold for like 50 or 60 bucks or something. I don't see any reason why this wouldn't get at least a nine. Uh, centering is maybe just a tad skinny on the top and fat on the bottom, but honestly, I don't think it changes the eye appeal. I think it actually looks a little bit better if it's not too skinny at the bottom. Um, it's a great looking card, no greening, super sharp. Even the back centering is good. So th I think this has a shot at a 10, but I know they're gonna grade these really tough. So I wouldn't be shocked if it came back a nine. I would be surprised if it came back anything uh, below a nine. Um, Ginobili Credentials, um, 2003-04 EX, numbered 83. This is Essential Credentials Now. Yeah, oh, no, Future, Essential Credentials Future. I think the Credentials Now is shorter print. Um, these typically are tough to grade just because of the acetate. Um, you know, there is a lot of times there's peeling around these sections. His head looks like it's cut kind of weird, but that's how they all look. Um, it's not like it's an, uh, an issue with the card or anything, but this looked really clean when I looked it over. Again, if I get really lucky, maybe a 10, um, that would be awesome. But if not, eh, probably a nine. I would not be upset with a nine on that card. We got some LeBron rookies. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on these. None of these are gonna get 10s. They're, none of them are perfect. They all have minor issues, you know, centering here, uh, some corners, edges, not perfect. Nothing super egregious that would cause these to get like sixes or sevens. Um, I'd say probably all five of these should get either an eight or a nine for the most part. Um, and I'm fine with that again at, uh, oh, the one thing I forgot to mention is that the declared value for this uh, $18 grading fee is only $199. Um, if these were really good copies that I thought all had shots at nines or tens, I probably would pay more for a higher level. Uh, but again, none of these are gonna gem. I would be happy if any of them got a nine. Uh, but most likely we're looking at probably around eights for most of these. Um, but even at an eight, again, if I ever wanted to move those in the future, it'll be much easier to move if it's graded as opposed to a raw card that, you know, there's gonna be a lot of questions about every little uh, <laughs> issue on the card. So I figured grade them just to be safe. Uh, got some KD stuff. Top's finest rookie. I think this one actually might have a shot at a 10. I looked it over pretty closely. Didn't see any major issues. Again, centering. I don't really know how they how they do centering on these. Um, there's not really any clear borders, but edges, corner surface all looked good. So maybe a shot at a 10, um, but more depending on how tough they grade it, maybe a nine on that one. Um, two tops rookies, so the base black border, and then the one that came in the rookie pack um, white border. Again, not, getting, not expecting tens on either of these. Probably an eight on the black one, uh, just a little bit of whiting around some of the corners on the back, a little bit of white around the edges, but overall pretty good, nothing egregious. If I'm lucky, maybe a nine, but most likely an eight. This one, again, uh, 
maybe a nine, uh, maybe an eight, somewhere between there, eight or nine, most likely not going to get a 10 just because it's, you know, to have zero white around all these corners is almost impossible. That's why tens of these sell so high, a little bit of white on that left corner, but centering everything else looked really nice. No issues with the surface. So maybe you get lucky and get a nine, but would not be shocked at an eight on this one. This one is not in the best shape. It's the, uh, 57 tribute card um, to look like the 1957-58 uh, Topps basketball release, but there's definitely some issues. This corner, a lot of white in that corner, a little bit of white there, uh, but centering looked pretty good. No issues with the surface though, but because uh, these cards are so condition sensitive with the corners and some of the edges, looks pretty clean for the most part, but I, I know these corners here are probably gonna bring the grades down. So probably an eight on this one, but it is numbered to 2007, so I'm okay spending 18 bucks for an eight on that. The rest of this stuff, uh, more ultra modern, hoping for some tens on these. I sent in, I think one or two of these so far, and I don't think I've gotten a 10 on this card yet. Um, but again, at 18 bucks, even tens of these, I think should hold steady, probably in the 75, $80 range, even if there's a bunch of them, just because it's a, you know, it's a cool card, the luminance crotch dunk. Hopefully we can get at least a 10 on one of those. Um, pulled this from a uh, uh, retail pack. I can't remember if this was a fat pack or a blaster or, or, or what. It might have been a fat pack, but Giannis Starlight. This one looked really clean to me. Back starting maybe a tiny bit off, but I don't think they'd think that you're too bad on those. And even with the dark corners and edges, I didn't see any issues. This one looked, card looked really clean to me. Definitely think has a good shot at a 10. So that would be nice on that Starlight. A couple mosaic uh, cards. We have a Zion um, photo variation. So I definitely would not send any Zion base at this price, but a photo variation, the pop reports are way lower on these. There's not even close to as many out there. Uh, this one looked clean to me. So definitely good shot at a 10 on that one. And again, keeping with the same theme for all this stuff too. I'm hoping we get tens on these, but if we get nines, hopefully, hopefully we still at least break even. Um, this LeBron mosaic silver, these, these were really expensive at one point. Prices came down a ton, but at 18 bucks, I'm willing to take the risk on that one. Here's another LeBron green, this one probably won't get a 10. Top to bottom centering, so definitely a little skinny here. A little bit fatter up there, but not terrible. Um, again, <clears throat> get a greater on a good day, might get a 10, but due to the centering, might get a nine. But again, a nine at 18 bucks, I'm okay with that on this one. Um, Steph Curry actually just pulled this one uh, from the video yesterday, uh, and this centering looked perfect to me. Top, bottom, left, right. I'm not sure how it comes across on video, but I could not find any issue at all on this card whatsoever. Back centering, not 100% perfect, but it's close enough that there, there's no way they're gonna say, give you a nine instead of a 10 because of that centering is just a tiny bit off. That won't happen. There'd have to be some other issue to bring this down to a nine. So definitely think this one has a really good shot at a 10. And last couple of cards here, we got a Lamello uh, Court Kings. Can't remember where I pulled this from. I think I actually pulled this out of the, uh, Blaster pack from that repack product I, I opened a while ago that also had the Denny Avdia auto number to eight. Uh, this one looked really clean. Again, a 10 on this should bring at least 50, 60 bucks, somewhere in that range. And last card, Franz Wagner, Hoops Teal Explosion. This one looked really great. Could not find any issues with it. Um, so definitely think this has a great shot at a 10. Uh, can't imagine there's a ton of people grading this specific card. So if we can get a 10 back on this one, Again, 50, 60 bucks, somewhere in that range. So that's kind of the range we're going for with this submission at $18 per card, 199 um, total declared value. Total of 38 cards here. Um, again, using a group submitter at, uh, instead of $18 per card, it'll cost about 20 or uh, $20, $21, somewhere in that range. But ton of stuff sending in. So hopefully we get some good grades back on this stuff. Again, six, I would say six, maybe seven months at the longest if they are able to stick with their timelines and uh we'll be revisiting this video when these come back to see how how close we were on our estimates on what we're sending in and then what we got back so that's going to do it for this video hope you guys enjoyed watch this one thanks uh for checking it out and i'll see you all on the next video